you dress appropriately, mm. you really bring out your A game and it also gives you confidence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very, very crucial to be very intentional on how you dress when you're going for interview. Even now, right now that we are having interviews that are being held virtually, mm -hmm. you really need to look the part. It gives you confidence. It gives you confidence. It makes you feel that you have the content to, to show. I mean, mm -hmm. you want to go for an interview where you, whereby you're struggling. For instance, you've done, either you've done too much makeup for the ladies or yeah. you have a, a, an outfit that it's showing is too revealing. You now start making the panelists to stop concentrating on asking you the questions where you came Instead for the interview. How... They are now starting to be distracted. Without and you you'll, you'll, have not, you'll have not captured your value in that, uh, in mm -hmm. that setup. Yeah. So is there a particular way that you know, ladies should dress, that yes. men should dress? Yes. And what is that particular dressing? Uh, if you are for, 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 I have never had a problem with gentlemen, but of course I've been in interviews where a mm -hmm. gentleman came up showing uh, very funny. <laughs> yeah, so as a gentleman, mm -hmm. it's good to put on a very good, a good shirt if you can wear a tie, a very good, uh, mm -hmm. a very, very good pants. Yeah, yeah, so that you look very, very presentable. If you can't even a coat, yeah. If at all the organization, they are, they are pro, for instance, they are casual, smart put on good casual smart, mm -hmm. not uh, things that will actually wonder whether you are really, uh, really taking this role seriously. Mm -hmm. Because you're going to be, they say, you're going to be addressed the way you are dressed. Okay, you're yes. going to be addressed the way you are dressed, I yes. like that. Yes. All right, so yeah. you can do casual smart? Casual smart, depending on that organization. Mm -hmm. But to be on the safe side, just wear a good outfit, a good formal outfit. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you come in, even if it's a casual, uh, it's it's uh, where they they are uh, they encourage casual smart. You can always wear that once you join the organization. Mm -hmm. But this is the time that you're trying to join the organization. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you want to leave a good reputation. Yeah, the you first have to time they see you. Yes, oh. absolutely. All right. yeah. So now into the interview. Now on the mm. day of the interview, mm. you uh, many people bef before we get to the questions that are commonly asked yeah. and some of the common mistakes that maybe you will share with us. What um, what are some of the ways that people can deal with nerves, you know, because it's almost too obvious <laughs> that people, you know, you get into a room and you can sense the energy. Yes. There's too much fear. Yeah. The nerves are, you know, on another level. So how, how does one deal with that? Um, it, interviews for, I mean, interviews for each and every person, whether you are at, even our president, when I remember when they were yeah. doing the, the debate, he was also nervous, it, and it's very, it's very normal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. But you always, I always like telling uh, candidates, uh, especially when you're preparing yourself for an interview. First of all, remember that they are human beings like you. That's mm -hmm. one. And if you get this job, these are going to be your colleagues. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> They're doing what? Even then, they had to go through the same the thing. The same thing you're going through. through. Uh, and then also do some breathe up exercise. And you know, you know what? Uh, it's okay. I mean, I'm, I'm going through this and I, I have been shortlisted because they really think I can do the job. Mm -hmm. It's up to me to prove to them whether I can do it or not do it. Yeah. Yeah. So some breathing exercise before you go for the interview, mm -hmm. believe in yourself. And sometimes nervousness, nervousness also comes when you are not prepared enough. Okay. Yes. But if your confidence, not also overconfidence, mm -hmm. your confidence you breathe out, bring, uh, bring out the aspect where, but remember, and always say, I always say that interviews are conversations. You're going to have a conversation with your potential. Mm -hmm. I remember they also need you as much as you need them. As you, mm, okay. Yeah. So now, you, uh, because you, uh, you've mentioned, you know, interviews are a conversation. So yeah. those people that go with, you know, fixated answers, you've researched and you know this answer. <laughs> so in case they twist the question. <laughs> you have you to go. be very, you, that's now where I come, uh, where, where we talk about, you can't go cramming answers. Mm. Uh, in a manner, when you cram answers, by the time that you get to the, the interview and the questions have just been flipped, you start now becoming nervous you're being ready i mean you, you're ready be ready like you you're doing your research well because remember mm -hmm. as i said when you're interviewed for a certain role and you're called for a certain role 
they the, the, their hiring team really believes you can do their job. So the technical expertise. So preparation makes you bring an aspect of uh, your expertise and your mastery to that subject mm -hmm. so that you're able to bring out your A game. So even if it's twisted, no matter how it's twisted, you still can be able to even think on your feet. But there are also very many common questions that it's like, I usually say it's like uh, there's a pamphlet for all the interviews <laughs> all over the world. Like yeah. you'll never miss in, a, in an interview, tell us about yourself. Yeah, and yeah. these are some of the questions that I Yeah, tell us about yourself. That. Why mm. should we hire you? Uh, what I mean, and tell us about yourself. That's the point that you really need to bring out your education background, mm -hmm. your key strengths, strengths that are aligned to that role. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and bringing out even understanding, looking at the role, what the role requires. I believe that I'm bringing this to the table. You get my point. Mm -hmm. So you have to. It's at a statement that needs to bring. Needs, it's a one minute that tell me about yourself can either make or break your interview. Okay. That one question because mm -hmm. it will set the pace. The, That's the not the point to start saying the way you are married, you are a mother of kids. kids. You are, uh -huh. Nobody cares <laughs> about that. Yeah. yeah, so it's all uh, in line with the position. In the role. That your mm -hmm. case, you, it needs, so when you're talking about tell us about yourself, you need to bring out your education background, your key strengths mm -hmm. that are aligned to that role. For instance, these key strengths uh, require someone who is very good in report writing, is very good in analysis that you, you now you need, need to bring out. If this role brings, if this role uh, key strength is probably you need to be a people's person or create relationships, then and that needs to come out as you're giving mm -hmm. you can't be going to sell mangoes and uh, they actually want apples yeah so yeah. you're selling what they want yeah you sell what you, so you have to be very well aligned mm -hmm. yeah so telling me about a self is a question that you need to sum it sum it, sum it up in one, one minute, minute that can make or break Wow. That's going to set the pace. And it's That's going to determine whether these people are going to want to have this conversation with you <laughs> or maybe the interview was intended to r run for 30 minutes and it They just up, finished with you in 10. In 10 minutes, it was like, this person, by, by the way, is going to waste our time. <laughs> and time is uh -huh. money. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. there's that question. And then there's also uh, the, the other one that you've mentioned. Um, Tell me, okay, you've said, tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself. Why should we hire you? Mm -hmm. Now, why you should hire you, like, for instance, uh, are you also need, again, learn about the, learn, be very, very intentionally understanding that JD. Also be, be very more proactive. You have to see what have they done. Like, for instance, uh, why should they, they hire you? Mm -hmm. If they're all about impact, if they value impact, if their value is uh, is creating sustainability uh, uh, in, in the world, or they're into first serving vulnerable communities, then that's where you need to bring out why your strengths will continue. How you sure. contributing to Yeah, you're going to contribute to that mm -hmm. and even to their vision and the mission of the organization okay yeah all right yeah so mm. it's it's very very crucial and maybe i need to also add something else is on uh um uh th there's another question that at times you go for interviews and people end up not mm -hmm. they are asked whether they have the question for the panel you don't have the question that's also very very mm -hmm. it's not very right for you not to have a question for the so panel. you need to have a, to, you also to need to have question. a question and a question that is intellectual that will show okay this guy has done their his research like for instance is if they are in the growth stage of an organization are you looking mm -hmm. at growing in these areas because mm -hmm. i believe that there are opportunities you ask that question Mm -hmm. yes. So ask intellectual questions. Ask intel don't ask question how soon are you going to get back to me? The panel ah. will start thinking that you have some anxiety. <laughs> this okay, so you're not supposed to ask that question. You don't question. ask that. Right. Mm -hmm. You don't, because they'll always tell you, we'll get, your feed we'll get feedback. We'll, we're going to get, give you feedback as we are also interviewing other candidates. That's one. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing also, thank the panelists. Thank the panelists because they have given their time and you have also given your time yeah. too. Yeah. Don't feel like you're less. I mean, as I said, the moment you're called for an interview, 
just know you can do the job. Mm -hmm. They need you as much as you need them. Exactly. At that point in time. Yeah. And the question about salary, as we come to a close in this particular conversation, the time has really uh, gone uh, fast. So the, the question on salary, so how are you supposed to answer that? Because I know that's also a tricky question. You can over, <laughs> over, <laughs> over um, rate it or underrate it. You can either overrate it. I think one of the things is that you have to have researched what that role pays, yeah? Mm -hmm. And I always state... Uh, at some level, especially at this most senior level, I always say that I really, that, that's not something I usually tell, I tell candidates not to get to that point where you really want to negotiate that at that point. Mm -hmm. Because of course, if you have come for the first interview, it means that you're going to go for the second. And yeah. that now, now, of course, they've shown that they really value you, then you, you put it out. You always mm -hmm. ask yourself, what are you worth? Because sometimes people sell themselves short. For instance, you've gone for an interview where they're paying, let's say, 100K or 200,000. Mm -hmm. And then you quote yourself 50K, people will start wondering, uh, are you, do you, are really you serious? Have, yeah. so you really need to have done a research and, and, and get to see. Like there's some... There are some companies actually publish the salaries, like roles for a certain, like officers, they almost get paid almost the same, the mm -hmm. same ranges. Directors, the same ranges. So it's you to give a range, but don't also uh, be focused so much on, on that, but you also have to know your worth. Mm -hmm. Know yes. your worth and uh, research on how much they pay for that position. Exactly, and you give a range. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, after the interview, are you supposed to, maybe if you've not gotten feedback, are you supposed to call them to get feedback or you just wait? I always advise that you shouldn't do that because mm -hmm. also uh, not unless they had asked you, you can check up on with with us on for the feedback. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, when you keep on asking for feedback, you have already done that interview. You have, mm -hmm. you've given your, your 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 best. You need to move on to other also other jobs and continue spreading your network because there are things that you have no control over. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So as we come to a close, finally, if one ha should have a mantra or a slogan when going for an interview, yeah. what should that be? <laughs> what would you advise someone to <laughs> to go with? Wow, this is new. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I. The mantra when you're going for an interview, first of all, you just need to know that you're the best, you're the, you're the only you. Uh, mm -hmm. If it's Eve, if there's only one Eve and mm -hmm. there's nobody, there's no, there's no one who's going to ever be a replica of Eve. And whatever I go to serve in that organization, I am I am serving my my with my authentic uh, gifts. Mm -hmm. So there's uh, never want to compare yourself with other people. It doesn't matter who have been shortlisted with you. Always know that you're the best, and you are always. The moment you're called for an interview, it actually shows that the organization actually is trying to demonstrate to you they believe that you can do the job. Mm -hmm. So it's up to you to prove to them otherwise, oh. or actually prove them right. Wow, amazing, yeah. amazing. Yeah. Where can people get you? You can get me on LinkedIn, uh, mm -hmm. Eve Motio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can also get me on Eve, Eve M uh, at IPCL.Africa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you very much, Eve, for sharing with us uh, the nuggets of wisdom when going for a job interview and in preparing for a job interview. Yeah. We appreciate you. We're, we hope to have you again yeah, thank to speak you. on this or, or something similar to this. Yeah, thank you so much also for having me. Okay, so that has been Evelyn Mutio, uh, who is a HR executive and career coach. Uh, she has been speaking to us on job interview strategies. I hope you have taken one one thing or two, um, yeah, uh, benefited from it, yes. So now we take a short break and then we'll be back with Rama Goko on Youth and Politics.